guys, what's up? It's me, Gavin, and today I'm here doing another guitar review. This one is for the Revolta Combinata, this thing right here. If you follow me on Instagram or you've watched this YouTube channel for the last couple months, you've probably seen me playing this thing. I've had it for like three or four months now. About a year and a half ago, I went to the NAMM show in California. I met up with the guys from Eastwood Guitars there. A couple months ago, the owner of Eastwood Guitars and Revolta Guitars, Mike, he hit me up and asked me if I wanted to try this thing out. This is from their Revolta series. Revolt is actually its own brand, and they're all designed by this guy, Dennis Fano. He used to make Fano guitars, now he makes Novo guitars. Puts it in a package that's a little more affordable. I played it all summer for a bunch of festivals. If you know me as a guitar collector, you know that everything I have it needs to stay in tune, needs to function properly, needs to look good, sound good, feel good, all that stuff. So I kind of wanted to make sure this thing checked all those boxes before I, uh, I promoted it on my channel, but it's been fantastic. I love this thing. Getting into the details, it's got a body shape that's a bit bigger than like a typical Fender or a Gibson but a bit smaller than a 335. But with the semi-hollow and the P90 pickups, you can kind of make it sound like a casino, Epiphone Casino, which I'm a big Gary Clark Jr. fan, so that's, that's great. You can get that sort of feedback thing going if you want. Comes with a bunch of finishes. This one is the, the Sunburst. I think it's called the Atuna Burst. Bound on both sides, but on top, it's got a I think they call it a German carved top. It's got a great presence. It's funny, when I first got this thing and I played my first show with it, like, people don't usually notice my guitars if they're not guitar players. And I got a bunch of compliments like the first time I played it. The designs look like they've been around for a long time. Cause you know, it takes some inspiration from different places, but it's different enough where you bring it out on stage and people think you're playing like a $4,000 guitar and it's, it's well below that. So for a while I was looking for something that was a little different and this takes a lot of boxes. It's got the P90 pickups in it, which are definitely a lot different sounding than anything else I have. <laughs> Thing's got 24 frets on it, so you can get up really high. I think I've only done it like once at a show, but you can hit that that double octave if you want to. Rosewood fretboard with these big block inlays. Headstock's got the name on it. These, I think they're Wilkinson tuners. Haven't had an issue with tuning at all. It just seems to stay in tune, which is great. The most important part for me, for any guitar, is the neck. Immediately I picked this up. Just felt comfortable. It's not too big, not too small. Up in the neck P90 pickup, it's warm. I find it a little louder than the bridge. It's great for soloing, especially if you kick on a boost. In the middle, it's, it's the best clean sound on this thing. It kind of sounds like a Strat a little bit. It noise cancels in the middle too, which is, which is great. Bridge position to me kind of sounds a little like a Telecaster where it's not too 
in your face and bright, but it's like, it's a really pretty spanky sound, so you can do that sort of country thing if you want. So I played this thing at a bunch of festivals this summer, and uh, I just wanted to test it to see if it would hold up to what I was going to put it through, and, and it did. So, uh, so check them out. Check them out on Instagram, their website. You can check me out as well, if you're interested, down in the description. And thank you, Eastwood and Revolta, for, for letting me use this thing. It's been a pleasure. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. I've got a lot more stuff coming out in uh, the next couple months. So thank you guys for watching this review. See you in the next one. Thank you so much, Kisha.